guys welcome back to the channel so as i said in the uh previous video um i found that international 706 gas on facebook and there was a guy in front of me well the guy that was in front of me bought it but then uh texted me later that night and uh said hey you want this tractor so i just picked it up um i had to bring the skid loader down to get it um it was, it was pretty, north for nine pretty miles. hilly and pretty sketchy, so I uh, got it loaded, and now I'm headed back home. It was about two hours and ten minutes away, um, south of south of Bloomington, ways. So I'm all loaded up now, headed back home. But I figured I'd run by a trailer place uh, to check out their inventory, see what they had on the lot, and. Uh, see about maybe custom ordering a, a trailer possibly so I figured figure I'll take a different way home stop by there see what I can't figure out and then uh, mosey my way on home so I guess I'll pick you guys up later maybe when I get to the trailer dealership or uh, when I get back home I guess it just depends because it's 133 now it's hot out today too, 70 degrees. Um, but it's 1.30 and uh, I'm still 30 minutes away from the trailer dealership. Um, and then I'm sure I'll be there for a minute. So I'm sure I won't get home till, till the evening. So I guess I'll pick you guys up sometime here throughout the day. Made it home with my load. Um, I take my skid loader to load it up it was a pretty steep incline and then a turn up the guy's driveway so uh yeah the winch would have been uh useless i would have caused the biggest catastrophe but the uh, skid loader uh made it a lot easier for me anyways but uh, it's a 706 gas um supposedly has a rebuilt carb and a bunch of bunch of other goodies um Supposedly was just running too, but I don't know. It looks uh, looks pretty rough. It's got quite the leaks under it, um, and kind of looks grody. Um, came with a blade, which if you're interested in it, probably take like 250 for it, because um, I don't need it. it. Has factory three point, dual PTO. Uh, the right hand fender looks decent but the left hand one is pretty decent except for right there then there's some sheet metal all banged up and whatnot but yeah aftermarket seat then those panels above the dash are in the bed of my truck here right here ta lever and whatnot in that panel and the muffler but yeah so i made it home um, finally about wrecked about 20 times that's all right um, stopped at the trailer place as I had said and I might have custom ordered a trailer should be here in uh, December so hopefully this one's gone by then um, it's gonna have the 12,000 pound axles like this one does it's one of the top name brands hydraulic dovetail 32 foot um it's a it's a really cool color it ain't black or gray or nothing like that so uh yeah it's gonna be freaking sweet but uh and then i'll oh shoot what other options did i do i can't remember what other options i did um, it's going to have a winch place to put a winch, stuff like that. I'd have to look at my paper see what I did, but I should be seeing it here in December, and uh, hopefully it'll be a lot nicer than this one. But, uh, yeah, I already got chained down. A guy stopped by, look at some tractors. So I unchained while I was waiting on him, but I guess I could set you guys on the tripod and get this stuff unloaded. Um, 
when I loaded the 706 up, the three point was up, so the blade went down like this. But um, I set it down for hauling purposes, so it wouldn't bounce around and whatnot. So I'm gonna have to detach that blade, and then I'll drag the tractor off of there. And uh, yeah, get the blade off of there. And then I need to unhook my trailer to work on my truck again. Um, yeah, because I had unhooked it last night because I didn't think I, or yesterday evening because I didn't think I got this tractor bought. Um, but I did. So, um, yeah, so I had to hook it back up. But I'm going to unhook it this time and not do any trucking this weekend, hopefully, so I can get my truck worked on. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll set you guys on a tripod and uh, get this stuff unloaded. Just like that, truck trailer unhooked and unloaded. Um, yeah, that 706 leaked quite a bit. It all sprayed all back air. That's all right though. That just soaks my, into my boards more, makes them last longer. Um, even though trailer's gonna be gone by uh, December, whether I, give it to the dealership or sell it on my own i'm not keeping it so yeah the old old 706 and the greater blade are over here um yeah greater blade two 250 i'd take for it it's got good cutting edge on it that's the only reason 250 but it's a one two it's a eight footer eight foot greater blade i um, don't look to be in too bad a shape could probably use some bolts on the ends here um because it looks like rocks are getting jammed in there but it's it turns and swivels and everything so that's that and then the uh 706 gas here um is going to get parted out for the mo or most likely anyways so the right hand fender is really nice this one yeah it's got that bend right there but other than that it's looks pretty decent junk seat on it um so yeah yeah pto 540 and 1000 pto three point tires are bald rims are good double bevel rims and they are what size is this 18 434s so um i might try to get it running here in the next day or two um test ta see if it works or not um if i can find time to get around to it but if not, um, I'm just gonna knock it in the head or sell it complete. Um, probably take three grand the way it sits, um, but it's probably gonna get parted out. Um, yeah, because I didn't the oil pan all the all the smithereens, loading it and unloading it. But uh, yeah, so I guess if you guys are interested in parts off this tractor or the greater blade, uh, you can find me on Facebook at Bowman's Tractor Salvage. All my info's on there. Or I'll leave my email in the description below and you can get in contact with me. Um, so yeah, I guess that's where I'm going to end off today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button for me. And uh, I guess stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.